Hi friends, I have a small $7 bag here I just want to go through quickly, make it a lot easier to upload these shorter videos. But if I break down the bags, I don't want anybody to think I put something in them that it really wasn't in the bag, so that's why I don't want to open them unless they're, it's all on tape. Cute little dress up, my grandbaby would love it, plastic, a very fun uh, bolo. Got those fun charms at the bottom. It's not real silver, I don't think. Um, we'll pull it off of there and see if there's any markings. Let's see. No, just it's just a generic back. But how fun is the front? So that's kind of fun. Um, Sometimes I sell these at yard sales. Um, I've never put one of these online. I've always thought I would, but I never have. Usually I live in a little small town and people like these kind of things. So um, it also be fun for dress up. Polar bear earring. Oh, wow. A Casio watch that is actually working. I'm going to look that one up. I don't think they're worth very much, but somebody might be interested, especially since it's working. A little bracelet. I have several like that. Uh, dress up pink bracelet. A lot of this is probably going to get kids stuff. That's why it was so cheap. That would also be cute for Elsa um, and Anna. Dress up. Um, I shared before about this on my blog um, and on my other videos. Anything like this that is new like that, I take to our local care center, nursing home. These are pins, and I'll separate those. And donate them to the um, clients, what are they called, patients that are in the care center um, for the holidays. Just donate now, that's not real. Um, this is coming healing. Just donate that. Um, and they love it. They love when they get this. This is a little headband. It's kind of a cute little headband. I just don't think any of my girls would wear it. So we can donate that. Um, it's kind of iffy if they've been worn to if they're headbands. Um, this is made with straws. These are real glass beads. And so these are crappy, ugly little things, and these are plastic straws. So what I'm going to do is, nobody's going to buy this as is, but these beads are worth some money. So I will pull that apart and bag the beads separately, and that way I can maybe sell the beads separately. Uh, cute bracelet. My girls don't wear bracelets. Their wrists are too small. So uh, some kind of a teaching pin. Little four people in the corners. I don't know. I'd have to look what that is up. And pinata pile or dress ups. How, uh, Christmas cat. Somebody at the care center would just love that. The uh, elderly just love having pins on when they go to dinner at the care center. So, uh, Sago Lily pin. I just put my pins all together because um, some people collect pins. Pinata pile. Uh, dream bracelet. Um, I'm just guessing pinata pile or dress ups. Actually, that might be a fun dress up one. Pinata. These are all mostly um, Civil War. Some little boy is going to love that for Halloween. So we'll bag that for Halloween. Oh, cute little dress up. Look how cute that is. Grandbaby will love that. My kids made fun of me for calling them grandbabies. Um, that is a stained bracelet. Um, they said I should, people call them their grandkids. And I said, but grandkids could be any age. Um, yeah, we're going to just donate that. Also, I think that's called Venetian glass, but I don't think anybody's going to want to wear that, so we'll donate that. Um, so I said, if you say grandbabies, everybody knows they're babies. So another CTR, children's ring, pinata. This one I think is going to go in the garbage because it is a broken one. Um, everybody runs gold medal, something marathon. 
I've never heard of this place. So, yeah. Um, recycle, most likely. I'll pull that off and put it in the recycle bin. Same thing with this half marathon finisher, Tucson. I don't know, Bobby Olson, something or other. I don't know. The cactus. I don't know. I'll just recycle it. Um, Pinata. How interesting is that watch? Interesting. See through watch. That's kind of fun. I'll give that to the watch lady. Carl's bad. 5,000. That is a very heavy metal. So that will go in recycling. Rings for the piñata. Um, wow. That is definitely a huge dress up because nobody in their right mind would wear that. I don't even think I will save it for dress ups. So that's big and bulky and no waste space. Okay, I think the other one of these was in the other bag and the copper is wearing through and I just threw it in recycle because the copper is wearing through on it. So it's in the recycle pile. Piñata. Um, this has seen better days. Um, this is going in the garbage. A boot earring. Okay, somebody has... All of these earrings on a little earring tree thing. And um, I don't think my kids would want any of these earrings. So what I will do is bag them separately and donate them to yard sale. Because I don't donate earrings to people unless they're new. So these will go in the yard sale pile. Because people can take them and do what they want from the yard sale. But... Yeah, I think the whales are the cutest thing on here, but I don't see that any of these look like they are real silver. So, a pink pirate bracelet. I actually have a pink pirate costume, so that might actually be cute with that. I'll have to double check and look at Okay, this is a costume jewelry that is not of any value. And it's very cute though. Put it with the brooches because somebody asks for those specifically. It's a ring that I don't think. Hmm. It does not look real. It's got lines on the inside, and I'll show you that. But I'm just looking for markings just to be sure. When there's lines like this on the inside, typically. Not real. I don't know if I'm going to be able to show you. You see the line that's going through there? When there's lines like that, it's a poured, poured one. It's an eye. And look at it versus the other gold ones. It's super, super gold compared to the other ones. So, pretty sure it's just garbage. The pinata pile. Um, where is the magnet? Huh. This does not have any writing on it. It feels like it mm, it's like tin or aluminum. Not seeming to have be magnetic, but I'm not seeing any 925 or markings or anything. Um, I have a daughter who actually might like that. She has some knotted jewelry, so we'll let her go with that. Mustache earrings. I think that thing has come and gone. This was in the other bag I had, so we'll put those in the luau thing. Wouldn't those be fun to wear? Where it is at the little um, pinata pile. That kind of looks like a luau thing, doesn't it? Like a little tiki thing. I'll put that in the luau pile too. Um, these are beads that are made out of um, 
paper that charms say it's probably like some African something. Or, I don't know, I can't read it. Made in U Uganda. Yeah, I was going to say some African country or something. So that was made in Uganda. I have a pile of some other ones like that, similar. The mustache ring. I don't think my kids will want that, but I'll ask them. Oh, yay, this was in the other one. What these was in the other bag, but I thought it was adorable. I think my girls will like that. So... We have two now. Super, super um, gaudy something ring. Um, yeah, definitely getting rid of that. Pinata pile. So the earring seems to be matching up with other ones that I had in other bags. This is a cookie Lee bracelet. It's still kind of cute with the glass beads. I don't know if anybody would wear it, but I'm going to throw it in the dress up things. Okay, not keeping that one. Pinata pile. A broken Timex watch. Ooh, wind up. Let's see if that works. It's one, let's see, it's 123. Watch that in a second, see if it works. Oh, it's ticking. I'm always looking for wind-up watches. They're really hard to find anymore. Funny story. Oh, those are cute. Um, put those in the gift pile. Um, garbage recycling. Um, I needed to buy a wind-up watch for my daughter that was serving in the Philippines because she was in a remote area, and they said bring a wind-up watch. So I bought her. I tried to buy her a wind-up watch, and I could not find one anywhere. And this was a few years back. Um, she's married with three kids now, so this is a while ago. But anyway, I tried to find one. I couldn't find one anywhere. And I went to a bunch of secondhand stores. And finally, at a secondhand store in another large city, I found one for $30. They charged me $30 for this wind-up watch. And it was a Timex or something. And so I... Oh, it looks like it might be working. Anyway, so I get it home. And I'm putting a new band on it for her, and it said, Made in the Philippines on the back. This one does not say that, but hers said Made in the Philippines, and I started laughing. I was like, her watch was Made in the Philippines, came here, sat around for 25 years. I purchased it for $30 at the secondhand store, and it's going back to the Philippines. I thought that was hilarious. So I'm always looking for a good wind-up watch that's not broken because they tend, every time I find one in one of these bags, it's the wind-up mechanism is snapped and broken. Uh, pinata pile. When I get watch bands like this that have the double screws in it, I think there would be a cute dress-up for my grandbaby. I just clasp the things together and make it into a little bracelet for her, and it fits her perfectly. And she puts them in her little treasure box and loses them and breaks them, and her mom gets annoyed with me, I'm sure. But... I love to give them to her because she thinks they're so cool that grandma gave her this thing. This one is a pokey and I'm not going to keep that one. I don't need that. Same thing with these kind of things. Nobody's even going to want those. I'll just throw those away. Um, a little bracelet. little girl's bracelet. It's cute. Let's see if she wants that. Um, yep. Nope. Nobody's going to want that. Uh, hair elastic with the piece symbol on it will go in the garbage, but I'll re recycle the metal. That's metal. So I'll cut that off and recycle it. And these are just earrings that go on that other earring tree thing. There's nothing of any value in any of this. So I will just match those up and bag them and donate them to uh, the yard sale. And like I said, the earrings I don't give out if they're um, at Halloween. I never give out earrings. So Unless they're brand new in the package. So, like, I would put these in a bag and give these out. Um, if I didn't think somebody would want them at our family luau parties or whatever for a prize for Bunko or something, then I would bag them and then I would give them out for Halloween. But 99% of the time, the earrings, I don't know if they've been worn or not. So, I just put them in the baggies and sell them at a yard sale and I don't give them out at, at Halloween. 
just because they're not clean and that's gross. So anyway, um, that was a $7 bag. What quick time. Thanks for watching. Check out my blog, The Secret is Gratitude, and have a blessed day.